<laughs> Welcome back to the 562.org. It's Tyler. And Mike in this high school football championship video is brought to you by Naples Rib Company. What a perfect scene for a CIF championship game, Mike, here at Jim Bond Stadium. Long Beach Poly against St. Francis. A lot of emotion in this game. This stadium named after former St. Francis coach Jim Bonds, who coached for 20 years and passed away last year. Golden Knights have a great head coach in Dean Harrington, who's won multiple CIF titles. And Dino is going to be asking a lot of 6'6 quarterback Jack Jacobs in this one, but here come the Jackrabbits. The icy whites with the green and gold. It is too cold as Polly is ready for this one. Jackrabbits also playing with a ton of emotion after losing longtime coach and Long Beach legend Keith Slice Thompson. Been wearing these helmet stickers the past two years. Poly coach Stephen Barbie and his staff have done a great job getting this team better throughout the year, but you never know until you know how much better they've got. The Jackrabbits game plan tonight was ample samples. Use that big O-line and run it right at St. Francis. The Poly crowd traveled well, and they brought the east side with them. It was a party from before the opening kickoff, and we've got two really good programs going at it. Poly looking for its first CIF title since 2012. On the opening drive, the Golden Knights trying to get tricky, but Timmy Tuiaga Moa puts his helmet on the football and it goes right to Malik Brown for the takeaway. Sometimes it's nice to have a little bit of luck on that opening drive. And where you, when you wear 11, we call you sticks. We gotta call Timmy hit sticks because he's a thumper. Poly offense wasting no time looking for points off turnovers. Kuykendall hits Nick Kelly for a first down there. Then it's Devin Samples getting his night started with a three-yard touchdown run. Jackrabbits take the lead. It is 7-0. We are less than four minutes into the game. And for the Poly faithful, that start was music to their ears. <laughs> I see what you did there, Tyler. Uh -huh. uh, St. Francis would answer back with a huge play as Jacobs finds Jet McCullough for a one-handed grab 56 yards down to the poly 18. Yeah, great answer from the Golden Knights. They're, you know, they're they're at home. You know, they, they should have the support of their crowd and make things happen. Jacob's going to hit a wide open Dylan Ball for a game tying touchdown as he coasts on in. Looks like we got a ball game early. It's seven seven less than halfway through that first quarter as the teams are going back and forth. Polly drove it right down the other way, looking for the end zone. Kaikendall's going to get picked off by Diego Jimenez. So at this point, St. Francis. They've got the momentum, the crowd's into it. Polly's going to have to come back with an answer. Here comes D-Block. D-Block. They were up to the task. Noodles and D-Will stuff the star running back Max Garrison, the San Diego State commit. couple of pretty good 10th graders over there. And then in the past game, Phoenix Tusa, their first on the blow-by, and the rest of the defense soon to follow. Jack Roberts playing lights out on defense as they have all playoffs long. Yeah, and bringing tons of emotion in the game, which certainly helped. Offense goes right back to work with samples. Then in the passing game to Titus Bordeaux. He'll be out of bounds near midfield. Swing pass goes to Nick Kelly, who jukes his defender out of the stadium, then takes it inside the red zone. He was shaken up on that play. Hope that he is all right. Samples going to punch in another short touchdown run to give Polly the lead back as the, the Rabbits had absolutely no problem moving the ball on offense, and Papa Samples loves that. Well, this is a Jackrabbit legacy family. There are so many of them on this team, and it makes it mean that much more. Jackrabbit's defense still had the clamps on, playing with so much intensity all night. When they sent St. Francis was relaxing, they didn't relax. They went in for the kill. Jacobs is St. Francis' second leading rusher, but E.K. Mikaele just teed off on him. The Repo Man is here to collect a championship tonight. Rabbits offense mixing in the screen game, first to samples, and then they're going to be looking the other direction for the freshman, Jaden Robinson, just giving different looks, and you, this is really a youth movement for the Jackrabbits, a ton of ninth and 10th graders out there. Then they go back to the ground game as the junior samples is going to power it down to the five, and you just see running with so much intent. Yeah, and forget Huey and Louie, it was Dewey, Dewey, and Dewey in the first half, Mike. Three rushing touchdowns for Devin Samples as Polly's up 21-7, two minutes left in the half. And that's when St. Francis got going in the two-minute drill, had a big trick play, and then used some quick passing as this was their best drive of the night, getting them down inside the Polly 10. But with a few looks at the end zone with under 20 seconds left, Tui Agamoa and the secondary did their job, setting up what we thought was a field goal try, but... Ah! Dean! It's a fake! And it was wide open, but the pass is just high. Polly dodged a bullet there, Mike. 
Well, you feel like St. Francis probably replaying that one over and over again in their head tonight. Definitely would have been a game changer. And then the Jackrabbits offense looks very similar after halftime. OG's told me never change when you win it, Tyler. Yeah, you just don't have to. But uh, eventually samples would be stopped deep in St. Francis territory. That's going to set up a Dylan Michelle field goal to make it a 24-7 poly advantage. 844 left in the third. Next drive for Polly, uh, more samples. <laughs> he had 38 carries tonight for 220 yards. We already showed you the three touchdowns running right out of his shoes. The kid was special tonight. Sixer coming up big. Kuykendall then connecting with Tyson Bordeaux on this absolute dime. Kuykendall only two incompletions all night. A great game from him. And when Samples needed a breather, Noodles was happy to step in with the instant ramen offense. 40-yard run down to the Golden Knights 20 as he breaches the gates on the sideline. <laughs> <laughs> then Kaysen, uh going right up the gut, 14 carries, 133 yards in the run game. Also led the team in tackles as a 10th grader and just got to shout out that O-line, Mike. Yeah, Wendell Moe and Tyson Ruffins, Nathan Samoa, and that entire offensive line just road grading. Obviously got to give the love to Noodles and Samples, the running backs, but that offensive line was incredible. 388 rushing yards on 58 carries. That's 6.7 yards per carry as a team. 31-7 lead. Meanwhile, Polly held St. Francis to just 20 rushing yards. Yeah, we mentioned Noodles, team's leading tackler with half dozen. Polly just looking for the cherry on top. Tyson Bordeaux with a couple of nasty dead legs to go in untouched for the score. That Jackrabbit crowd ready to erupt. Uh, unfortunately, hold on, uh, this one called back a legal man downfield, and I mean, ah, Bordeaux's mad. The Bordeaux's are furious about this one, absolutely, mm. but don't worry, that's what Aka, <laughs> Ron Green is there for, he punches in the human exclamation point, and it's a green and gold party on the visitor's sideline as the Jackrabbits and their fans can taste it, the confetti's in the air, the rings are gonna be on the fingers, what a special night. Absolutely, yeah, just raw emotion on that Jackrabbit sideline. It was a narrow sideline, and it couldn't possibly contain <laughs> all the excitement from that team. I mean, yeah, yeah, Poe, it's ring season. <laughs> you better get fitted. Jackrabbits just waiting for their chance to rush the field. And as the final seconds tick away, Long Beach Poly wins its 20th CIF championship in program history, and pandemonium ensues on the field. Can't really say enough about this team coming back from a one and three start to the season. They have been through a lot as a team. They've grown and improved each week. And Stephen Barbie and these Jackrabbits get to celebrate a CIF championship together like the family that they've been growing into over the course of this season. Really, really special stuff from Green and Golden. Well, and poly coaches are judged by championships, Mike. You know, it's, it's the first for Stephen Barbie. He's done a great job with the program. And obviously it's different when you get that plaque. Um, man, it's just what a what a run from this team dominating this bracket. And uh, make no mistake, this one's for Slice. We'd like to thank all of our sponsors, including Ocean Law Center. There is still more poly football coverage to come as the season stretches into December. They'll be hosting a CIF State game next week. Find out who and where they'll be playing at the 562.org.